Hi, this is Teacher Hazel. In this video, I am going to discuss how to write each equation in standard form and how to find the values of A, B, and C. Still, our lesson is all about quadratic equation. So let's have an example. Number one. So 2x times the quantity 5x minus 2 is equal to 0. So write this one in standard form by distributing 2x to the terms inside the parentheses. So 2x times 5x is 10x squared. And then 2x times negative 2, the answer is negative 4x equals 0. Now this one is already in standard form, but one of the terms is missing. So what is the missing term? Okay, the missing term is the constant term. Okay, now let us find the values of A, B, and C. So in this equation, the value of A is 10, the value of B is negative 4, and the value of C is 0. Why 0? Because the constant term is missing. Okay, let's go to number 2. So number 2, you have the quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 2 equals 0. So for, uh, for us to be able to write this one in standard form, again, we're going to use the FOIL method to multiply the two binomials. So multiply first the first terms. So x times x is x squared. Multiply the outer terms. x times 2 is positive 2x. Multiply the inner terms. So negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And then multiply the last terms. So negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 equals 0. And then combine similar terms. So it's x squared, 2x minus 4x is negative 2x minus 8 equals 0. Now observe that this one is already in standard form. Now we can find the values of a, b, and c. So here, your a is equal to 1, okay, because there is no number here, so automatic that is 1. b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 8. Okay, let's go to number 3. So number 3 is actually similar to number 2. So to write this one in standard form, we have to use the FOIL method again. So we have to multiply the two binomials. So multiply first the first terms. So 2x times x is 2x squared. Then multiply the outer terms. 2x times 3, so that is 6x multiply the inner term so 1 times x is 1x so let us write 1x okay then 1 times 3 is 3 so that is positive 3 equals 0 and then combine similar terms so that means you have to combine 6x and 1x so it's 2x squared 6x plus 1x is 7x plus 3 equals 0 so now, this one is already in standard form. So let us find the values of A, B, and C. So here, your A is equal to 2, your B is equal to 7, and your C is equal to 3. Okay, that's all. Thank you.